God to join us on this special occasion. We're gathered here together in the presence of God, family, and friends to unite Josiah William Johnson and Ruby Grace King Kiner in holy matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate and is therefore not to be entered into lightly, but reverently, advisingly, soberly, and with God's blessing. Today they will uh, receive God's greatest gift, one another, to grow with, to change with, to be joyful with, and to stand with as one when trials and tribulations in their life. It is fitting, therefore we should, uh, on this occasion, begin to ask for God's blessing in this marriage. Let us pray. Father, we just thank you today for allowing us to witness the union. Lord, we gather to celebrate your gift of love and its presence among us. We rejoice that these two have chosen to commit themselves to a life of loving faithfulness to one another. We praise you, Lord, for the ways you have touched our lives with loving relationships such as Josiah and Ruby. And we give you thanks for this special love and friendship put in their hearts, renew within us a loving spirit for oneness. Enrich our lives with a gracious gift of your love so that we may embrace others with the same love. May our participation in this celebration of love and commitment give us a new joy and responsiveness to the relationships that we cherish. Lord, we thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You may be seated. I want to ask who is this that's handing over this prize? Marriage is a joyous occasion. It is connected to our thoughts with the charm of love, the warmth of home, all that is pleasant as being one of the most important events of our lives. It's the sacredness and unity is the most significant and binding covenant known to human relationships. Josiah and Ruby, let me charge you both to remember that your future happiness is to be in mutual consideration one towards another, in patience, in kindness, in confidence, in affection. It is the duty of each of you to find your greatest joy in the company of the other, to remember that your love pledge today must remain, remain undivided for your lifetime. It is your duty, Josiah, to be considerate, tender, faithful, and a loving husband, to support, to guide, to cherish her in prosperity and or in trouble, to thoughtfully, carefully enlarge the place she holds in your life to consistently show her the token of your affection, to shelter her from danger, to love her with un unchangeable love. It is your duty, Ruby, to be considerate, tender, comforting guy, to cherish him in prosperity and in, in or in trouble, to give him the unfailing pieces of evidence of your affection and to continue making a place in your heart for him that it can be broader and deeper and to support him and to value him and work with him to make your marriage the very best it can be i call to both of your attentions the seriousness of this decision which you have made and the covenant you are about to declare before god the vows you are about to take 
are not to be taken lightly, but be carefully thought out. You are committing yourselves exclusively to one another. I, Ruby. I, Ruby, thank you for To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. And to stay forward. From this day forward. Better for worse. For richer for poor. For richer for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as you both shall live. These rings are a symbol of unity, a commitment among this couple as a sign of my love and faithfulness. It may be easy right now to do what I'm asking you to do. You'll see that these things is gonna take work together. Two, you should always pray together. And three, you must live together. Many times you've heard me say, this Ruby, that a marriage is not meant for you to coexist, for you to be roommates. A marriage is so that you should live together. Two are becoming one. I don't have a separate life from my wife, and my wife does not have a separate life from me. Everything that we do is intertwined, work together. Pray together, live together. The thought is, if I am going to fulfill the plan of God in my life, you need each other to do the will of God in your life. Answered and said unto them, have you not read that he which made them at the beginning made them male and female? And he said, for this cause, Shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave to his wife and they too shall be one flesh? Wherefore, there's no more twain but one flesh. But therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Now it is your job to be a covering. So the purpose is for you to leave father and mother Sometimes we tend to go, when trouble happens, to go to them complaining about the opposite person. Or go to someone. You work together. Love does not behave or act up. It seeks not her own. It is not easily provoked. It thinks no evil. It rejoices not in iniquity, but it rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, meaning it's willing to handle all things. It believes all things. It hopes, hopeth all things. It endures all things. Charity never fails. This is the perfection for two to become one. That which is in part is done away with. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I understood as a child. I thought I was a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things because love is not just a feeling it's a decision it's a mindset love is a characteristic that you and I must have if we're going to be in a healthy relationship I must already make up in my mind no matter what I'll never give up today you're choosing to love to put away childish behaviors childish personality traits you're choosing that this that we believe in Christ. The image of a marriage is Christ in the church. And we want to be that. Let us pray. Father, I ask you, Lord, to help Ruby, to help Josiah to fulfill the promises that they have made here today to reflect their steadfast love and their commitment to each other. Give them kindness and patience affection and understanding, happiness and contentment. May their family and friends continue to support them in the difficult days so that their love for each other may continue to grow as long as they both shall live.
Amen. Josiah William Johnson and Ruby Grace Kiner. We have witnessed your vows for marriage before God. And all who are in the assembly here, by the authority invested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride.
laughing at y'all there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse 
Oh my god. Okay. Now by myself. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, come on. 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 Come on, come <laughs> the video. Any more pictures or we all good? Come on, lady. Five minutes. I just need everybody to um, go to the yep. reception hall and take photos of the one. Bob, you're supposed to get on the other side of the day.